This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a problem dealing with the equation of a line. Um, and we're not just solving for the equation of a line, we're solving for the equation of a reflected line. Now, reflections are, are something which can be confusing, so I recommend that you start out with a, with a picture of what you're dealing with. Now, this particular line that we're starting out with is 4x minus 2. So let's draw that line on, and it helps at this point to know the equation of a line in the following format, y equals mx plus b. This is how they're giving it to you, where m is the slope and b is an intercept. Well, I'll say y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is the point where the line intercepts the y-axis, so the y-intercept in this case is negative 2, so I'm going to go down 1, 2, and draw that point on. Now the slope in this case is 4. So we want to draw a slope on here of 4. Now a positive slope, so any number that will move up and to the right. So let's draw a line which goes up and to the right. And where this hits the x-axis is not particularly important. But as long as we draw the slope roughly in the right direction. A negative slope would move down and to the right. So this would be a negative slope right here, which would be wrong. So we've got our line on there. And now what we need to do is figure out the reflection of that line across the x-axis. Now, if we fold it, so I'm, I'm going to imagine taking this chart and actually just kind of folding it in half. And whatever's on the bottom will now be on the top. And I'm imagining sort of a, uh, imagine a shimmering lake here at the x-axis. And we want to know what's reflected across it. Well, one thing I know is that wherever this line intersects below the reflection, so it's at negative 2, it should intersect at the same relative place above the reflection. So I'm going to put that intersection at the point 2. So instead of negative 2, it's positive 2. And this line will now have a negative slope. And it should go through the same point on the x-axis that the original line goes through. So the original line, let's label these. The original line was line L. The new line is line N. And see how they intersect here at the x-axis as well. So we've actually been asked for the equation of line N. And we can start figuring that out. I want to show you a, a form for the equation of a line which is called point-slope. Here's point-slope form, and you should memorize this. y minus y1 equals m, x minus x1, where m is the slope, and y1 is the y-coordinate of a point, and x1 is the x-coordinate. So this is called point slope. And it's called that because you can build it if you have a point and you have a slope. I can never personally remember point slope, so let me show you where it comes from. It actually comes from the equation for slope. Right, where slope is equal to rise over run. The amount the line goes up every time the line goes over. So you should also have that memorized. Um, I can't remember the, the equation for point slope, but if you multiply both sides by x minus x1, you can see how the formula for slope turns into point slope form, which is how I remember it. 
Now at this point, we simply need to plug in. There's a little bit of confusion remaining, which is when we start plugging in for slope, we need to figure out what to plug in. And let's talk about slope. So I'm gonna use some logic to figure out what the slope of this line should be. Let's start out with line L. Line L moved up four every time it went over one. So let's draw in here, um, hypothetically, a distance of one. I'm not calculating this very precisely. Let's say line L had a rise of, of four for a run of one. Well, what will happen to line N? We can do a similar equation for line N. Right? Line N should have, again, a run of one. But what will be the rise in line N? It should be negative four, since it's going in the other direction. We've reflected it across the x-axis. Instead of going up, it's going down. So if the slope of L is equal to four, the slope of N should be negative four. Notice that these are simply negative versions of one another, and that will always be the case if you reflect across the x-axis. So now we can plug in because we have a point and we have a slope. The coordinates on this point are zero, two. So let's plug in, and we'll end up with y minus y1, which is two, equals m, which is negative four, x minus x1, which is zero. And now we simply need to simplify this by solving for y to get the answer. Let's add two to both sides. And we end up with is y equals negative four x plus two. That's your answer, and that's answer choice 